Trump White House Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert this morning compared anti-Nazi protesters in Charlottesville with the Nazis they were protesting. This occurred on CNN's State of the Union with Jake Tapper. Tapper was incredulous. Bossett's comments only furthered concern about Donald Trump having compared both sides during his statement about the violence yesterday. Trump's false equivalence between the Nazis and the anti-Nazi protesters was immediately criticized by many in his own party. Tapper noted in particular that the Nazis actually killed someone yesterday. The anti-Nazi protesters did not. Here's a clip from Tapper's show Trump White House just equated anti-Nazi protesters in Charlottesville with the Nazis. Httpst .com, palx 3 evepictwittercom quid 40 ad John Aravosis at Aravosis August 13, 2017 As several journalists noted, the only people Donald Trump is uncomfortable criticizing by name of Vladimir Putin and Nazis. You'll recall that during the presidential campaign Trump was reticent about criticizing former KKK leader David Duke. In the case of Putin, many speculate as to whether Trump is being blackmailed. But what about Trump's reticence to condemn Nazis? You'll also recall that Trump had a series of slights against the Jewish community, including attacking Hillary using a Star of David, and refusing to include Jews in the White House's statement remembering the Holocaust. Overall, Trump seems overly focused on not offending Nazis, white supremacists, and racists. Trump seems to think they're his base. And increasingly, they seem to be. With the election of Donald Trump, America blogs independent journalism and activism is more needed than ever. Please support our writing, video blogs, and upcoming podcasts with a $25 donation. If you prefer PayPal, use this link. We don't make much on advertising, we need your support to continue our work. Thanks. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, follow at Aravosis, tags Charlottesville, Donald Trump, Jake Tapper, Nazi, racism.